Why you make a fine sign? I never doubted you would. But why did you? You might have just asked. To hear you reveal all about your experiments with the Elder Blood Gene? Unlike. I've hidden nothing that could be useful in our struggle against Elodin. As regards the Elder Blood, you're all aware Ciri is exceptional. I am alone only in knowing to what extent. Or maybe you're just obsessed. I'm upset. Yes, Geralt? We found the Sunstone. Gelban's gift to Dillion of the White Flea. As legend has it, she never used the stone and Gelban died of sorrow. Won't keep Aridin waiting that long. It seems we've everything. We can go. Keep in mind, once we commit, there'll be no returning. I'm ready. High time we set sail. Undvik awaits. In that case, let's go. You will position yourselves on the cliffs. Here, here, and... Thank you. I believe we know how to form a circle. Even those of us who lack eyes for the moment. I simply wish to avoid... Oh, Geralt. We were waiting for you. That's nice of you. You are about to explain your plan? It's simple. Which does not mean it will be easy to execute. I shall activate the Sunstone. If Caranthia answers the call, the Nargle Fair should appear in the bay shortly afterwards. The Lodge must then prevent the ship from returning to the world of the NL, while the Imperial Fleet blocks its escape by sea. The 7th Imlet's Infantry Regiment under Duke Varatra must then board it. With your help, naturally. Wow. Emir's being generous with his resources. He's halted his entire Skellige campaign to help us. Not doing it just to be nice, believe me. He's doing it for the same reason we all are. Ladies and gentlemen, less talk, more action, please. Sisters, we must scale the cliffs. Good luck. Plan's missing one important element. What about Ciri? Cyril will wait, at a safe distance from the Nargle Fair. Wild guess? Not what you had in mind. No. I wanted to go with you. That was my idea. But I won't allow it. Far too great a risk. don't have the right to order her around. Amusing. Zirel said the same thing, only at much higher volume. I do, in fact, have this right. For only I know how to activate the Sunstone, which I shall do on my terms or not at all. Zirel recognized the strength of my argument. I have no doubt you'll do the same. Zirel. Do you swear to stay on shore? Do I have a choice? Where are you going? For a walk. Or is that not allowed either? Because I could break my leg. Oh yes. The Elder Blood can be fiery. Gets that from her father. I beg to differ. Emir is a pragmatist, Siri an idealist. An idealist? What are you talking about? Never mind. Time is short. If you wish to do something, brew your substances or whatnot, do it now. You won't get the chance later. I shall await you by the boats, amongst the soldiers. Why are you here? To see you. 
Something happen? Not yet, but it might soon. We may not survive this. In fact, our chances are slim. We've come a long way, and I'll be damned if we've come to fail. It'll be all right. I admire your optimism. Wish I shared it. Listen to me. Once it's over, if we survive, I wish to leave, go far away, and I'd like you to come with me. Where? Wherever. To Povis, beyond the Dragon Mountains, Zeracania even. As far as possible from politics, plots, and so-called high society. You? Dropping plots and politics for good? You're in your element in that world. It's your life. Time to start anew. I'll believe it when I see it. Even now you're up to your neck in it. Yes, but only to set matters straight. To be able to withdraw having retained the upper hand. What then? A small secluded hut with a flower garden to tend to? Why not, if that is what you dream of? We shall leave together. Go where we please. Do whatever strikes our fancy. So? Coming with? I'd go anywhere with you. The answer I was hoping for. Go, Geralt. Avalaka waits. And don't get killed, Witcher. So, Geralt. Ready? Let's get these bastards. With pleasure, Geralt. With pleasure. Stone was to reunite a pair of lovers. Never thought I'd say anything of the sort to Eredin. En verilith serenad, ede eich blame, I may.
Naval Fair must be nearby. with his staff.
How you like that silver? I 
was hoping you'd come. Because... I've something to tell you. But I'll do so afterwards. As you expire. against each other, and he's made off with Cyrilla. I don't believe you. Between the worlds is 
open. We must reach the tower, quickly. Stop Avalok, while this can still be reversed. What are we gonna find there? If the tomes are to be believed, nature's laws will cease to hold. Gravity and time, and like all of it will be turned on its head. Exaggerating for effect, right? Not one bit. The conjunction of spheres has begun. The worlds, they're aligned, permeate one another. Avalar could use this. Bring the NL here. Something like this. At least we know where to go for Siri. Follow me, and stay alert. We need to focus on Siri. What do you think Avalar wants from her? Same as Eridan, I imagine. He will use her to open a gate between the worlds.
the gods. the other, eradicating all life. Only I can stop the destruction. I've given it much thought and made my decision. There's got to be another way. What can you know about saving the world, silly? You're but a witch. This is my story, not yours. You must let me finish telling it.
uh, made believe you if you showed me a pair of monogram Batiste Galagaskins. <laughs> More likely, you just say I stole them. <laughs> Dim wits. You were supposed to be somewhere? I was. Fine. Where will you meet? Near the Huntsman's Cottage. Always had a soft spot for me. He could sense I was a family man. A man of peace. Good nature, like himself. Would have never crossed his mind to disown me if it wasn't for that hag I call my sister. What's the name again? Count Julian Alfonso de Wet? Viscount Julian Alfred Pankratz de Lettenhove. <laughs> Don't believe me? Just watch. You'll wipe that doubting leer off your face when we go visit my estates. <laughs> you just invent this count bit. Quite the imagination for one who's sober. Geralt will vouch for me. Tell him. I've always said I'm a count. True. You have always said so. <laughs> just nobody's bothered to verify it. <laughs> What's with this count business all of a sudden? Well... When we finally leave this God's forsaken dung hole, I plan to reclaim my heritage, the titles and estates that are rightfully mine. Got plans for all these lands and titles? I'll take possession of them. Of course, there's also the issue of progeny. Is that so? Then you finally found a lassie worthy of the great dandelion. My dear friend and companion, why, my heart belongs to the one and only Priscilla, known also as Calanetta. Your heart, mate, too. But the rest of your anatomy? I resent the insinuation, and hasten to remind you that you are talking to a Count. No need for the Count to get riled. Rather, you told us how your beloved is. Recovered, mostly. Even started singing again. Her voice is a little lower pitched, gravelly. Actually, sounds a little better. Thanks for helping back then, Geralt. Meant a lot. Really. What are friends for? Give her my best. Don't worry, I will. Give her a kiss, even. A bit from you, mostly from me. I'm going rabbit hunting. Dandelion? Glad to have some rabbit stew. But freezing my ass off to amass the ingredients did not sign up for that. I'll gather the herbs, spices. No stew is complete without some sun-drenched thyme and the aroma of rosemary. Hi, <laughs> the fields are covered by rosemary blooming like well just before Yule, aren't they? That's why I'll be gathering my herbs from the kitchen. Uh, so long. Sadly, all out of curdled milk. If you're head swimming, that is. So long. To think the nag would know me after all these years. They're smart, grow attached, a bit like people. Saw officers weep for their fallen mounts, though wailing women and crying babes didn't move them one bit. Been away long? A year, not quite. But it feels like more, let me tell you. They force you to join? Nah, I was eager to fight. Thought I'd bring home more than just the scars on my back. Did see a chunk of the world, though. Some mammoth battles, a few famous generals from afar, and lots of horses. Didn't see the Emperor take Novigrad, but I don't regret it. Beautiful city. But I wonder what awaits me back home. Which side do you fight for? Like most, my own. Fought to stay alive. Dying's all the same. Dirt and shite. <laughs> 
be it under the Redanian Eagle or the Imperial Sun. No glory in it. Glad to see the horse is in good hands. The best. His owners. Do you miss me, Golden? Huh? Do you miss me? I'd say he did. Bolted off soon as he sensed you. Toppled anyone in his way. Um, do you mark anyone calling after him? Plowing in armpits or some such. But one man here curses so odd, my neighbour, Mirko. Gave him Golden to care for when I left. Or to go see him, must be worried. Here. Token of my appreciation for running after Golden to see you is all right. Out in a hunt, Master Witcher. Thought you'd clear the area of beasts your last time through. Rabbit hunting this time around. Ah, so that's it. Maybe you come round, visit us this eventide. Verk is baking a pie. Hmm, I don't know if... As you will. You're always welcome. That explains why Golden was so twisty. She's gone. Mad she had to wait. No, eager to roam the fields. Prepared the cover scents and oiled the jaw traps all by herself. Make a good hunter, wouldn't she? Nah, too impatient, that one. Probably snatching rabbits barehanded, putting them in the traps because they're too slow to step in themselves. Where'd she go? Not far. Over yonder. Farewell. Not up to hunting rabbits anymore? <laughs> Not really. What now? Nothing. Just sitting, waiting for you. It's nice here. I'll wait till you see Dolblathana in winter, and the Blue Mountains. We'll head east soon as the snow melts. I think we might have settled in a bit too much. You promised to show me that griffin's nest before we left. Let's go now. Are you actually interested? Absolutely. You said it yourself. A royal griffin's a rare sight. Not that rare. Venture to say we'll have to slay a couple more before we get back to Kaer Morhen. But if you want to see the nest, it's just up the hill. Come! We were supposed to train today. Uh-huh. Tomorrow at sunup then. Work you hard like I did in the good old days. Probably been a while since anyone showed you just how much you still have to learn. Hmm. Time for you to lecture me. Siri, wait. There's something in there. We really don't need to play hare and hounds. Siri! Faster. That's all it needed to be to rip your shoulder wide open. But it wasn't, and it didn't. We killed it. What is this about? You're angry. Wanted to unload. But be that careless, and next time... Don't you understand? There won't be a next time! Siri, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, it's just... It's not a good time. Wanna head back? Enough. 
Let's go fishing. We bring Dandelion a nice fat perch and he just might forget about the rabbit stew. Mm. Shame he didn't come along. He could use a bit of exertion. Huh. shouldn't be too thick here. Uh-huh. How exactly do you plan to catch anything? I'll be damned. Should we go? No, no way. Lake's gotta be full of perch, bream, or pollard. Mmm, fresh pollard. Would you like that? I wouldn't mind some, but do we plan to wait here until he leaves? No. We'll scare him off. How? I'll improvise. Wait here. An old witch's trick for tough winters. Not terribly subtle, but... Effective? Mm-hmm. Remember, don't ever do this. Why show it to me at all, then? Just in case. Never know what could happen on the path, what could save your life. All right, let's go. Who taught you that? Vesemir. A long time ago. How long? Very. Back when I wanted to call myself Geralt Roger Eric Duot Belagarci. What? <laughs> Tell you about it tonight. And about the time you broke your leg after wagering you'd jump off the roof of Cam Morhen and land a horse's back? Hmm. How do you even know about that? <laughs> Eskel told me. But I want to hear you tell it. I'm certain you have a rational explanation. never gave me piggyback rides at Cairn Morhen, remember? Vesemir was the only one willing. <laughs> huh? Had to wait till now to remind me? You've put on some weight since Cairn Morhen. We should get back. Remember me training on the pendulum? How I feared I'd never manage, yet you forbade me from giving up. <laughs> I was black and blue practically all the time. That pendulum was a nightmare. How could I forget? Those months at Cairn Morn. They passed so quickly. I wish we'd spent more time together then. Almost managed to forget it was today. They're here for me, Geralt. I'm going to Nilfgaard. 
to Emir. I know you didn't expect this, but in Vizima, my father and I spoke for long. Argued, really, and parted. Then a messenger came with a letter. I didn't say anything at first because I wasn't sure, and then I realized I had to stop fleeing. I realized that if I wish to change anything, I cannot do so hunting monsters around forgotten villages. I must do so from there, from Nilfgaard. Is this what you want? Yes. You're not trying to stop me. Take me to the Blue Mountains by force. I traveled half the world to find you, but I never intended to force anything on you. I know. You'll be fine. You're a witcher. We needn't say goodbye. Of course we don't. I don't know when we'll see each other again. Do you know where to find me? You can't possibly stay at Kermorhen all the time. Makes no difference. You'll find me. <laughs> True. Remember what I taught you? Never know. Could be useful there too. The Third Northern War ended. The invader from the south achieved complete victory. Robbed of Radovid's tactical genius, the Northern realms could not withstand Emir's countless legions. Black banners appeared over Novograd and all Redania. Weary of rebel raids, Emir Varemris conceded, restoring Temeria as a realm in liege to the Empire. When the guerrillas laid down their arms, the Emperor shifted his forces to other fronts. Through Nilfgaard's victory, the Marians got their country back, and history once again proved a consummate trickster. Having dealt with Radovid, the Mir of Vardemri did the same with enemies domestic. The Emperor's loyal spies named all who had conspired against him traitors, soldiers, and aristocrats alike. Though their mutiny had only been a murky plan, the Emperor showed no mercy, as was his wont. While the continent bled engulfed by war, Skellige bloomed under Ceres's enlightened rule. Unlike those who had come before her, the young queen did not raid foreign shores, looking instead to her people, tending to her land. The island-bound nation prospered, though its fangs of yore were dull. After years in exile, Ciri returned to Nilfgaard, her paternal home, where Emir prepared to name her his successor. The woman had the necessary qualities. From her father, she'd inherited an empress's political instincts. From Geralt, she had gained a sense of simple human decency. 
few monarchs boast both traits, which is quite a shame. While monarchs moved borders and populations, Geralt and Yennefer lived a calm, quiet life, far from all things political. They breakfasted well after noon, more often than not in bed, and passed the days on lazy strolls and long conversations. Boring, you say? Perhaps. But both had sought this more than anything else. <laughs>